Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Sunless Sea. So, we are going to embark on our next larger expedition, I suppose. Even though, if everything should go according to plan, which is unlikely, uh, it should not go. It should not take nearly as long as the, our last veritable odyssey. And we're going to start by going to the Salt Lions to, well, deliver our one of our officers. Uh, there. However, speaking of officers, I took another closer look at uh, this tooltip here in particular, and I know I saw this, I looked at this at, at one point and um, realized what was going on, or, you know, realized the thing about it and pointed it out, but had since pretty much forgotten about it, and last time I, I mean, I saw the tooltip last episode, but I, you know, didn't pay much attention to it, didn't look at it in detail, just because there is so much it seems to be so much going on, but it's really just a weirdly spoilery list of the remaining steps in her quest line, isn't it? And thus, this it also serves to remind me where I had seen the Clary Heart, which I couldn't remember last time. Uh, the last point in the list just spells it out. It's actually in Port Carnelian, and so yeah, there's there are just some there are some curiosities about this this whole her quest line, right? Because well, first of all. If the if the the location of the Clary Heart is supposed to be so such a secret, why can you just click on Shipyard in Port Carnelian and it's just sitting there? Of course, you can't do anything with it until you have the I don't know was it the deed to the Clary Heart or something, some sort of document that allows you to actually acquire it as a ship. But I mean, why not just hide that until you actually meet the requirements? And why does this tooltip, as one of very few that act like this, just list all of these various requirements basically spoiling the entire thing other similar quest related tooltips don't do that do that or is it just one particular type of tooltip that's always that always works this way because of, of how the game works and it's just an unfortunate side effect that it is thus such a spoiler but i mean here we can see that we're currently on uh, on the step on the first step listed seek knowledge of the Clary Heart in Adam, uh, Adam's, <laughs> Adam's way, then gaining knowledge in Adam's way, learning how to retrieve the Clary Heart, seeking the Clary Heart futilely, I suppose, in Khan's Shadow, because we know it's not there, still seeking the Clary Heart in Khan's Shadow, looking for Clary Heart in Frostfound, which is, I think, a place, the place, or one of the places the Tireless Mechanic wants us to go, if I'm not mistaken. We determine the future of the Clary Heart, finish choosing the future, the fate of the Clary Heart, and then finally we, I guess, can potentially retrieve it as a ship in Port Carnelian. So yeah, it's just, yeah, just weird how it, uh, it's all spelled out like that. Also, uh, more options popped up here after, I guess, advancing her quest line last time, and I didn't even realize that. Let her have an experiment with the long box. I think that's the one I saw, but since then... Uh, yeah, I think everything below here is new, so we could give her a prisoner to cut open. I mean, that sounds all kinds of wrong. This prisoner seeks revenge. I can make them stop wanting that. Hmm. May lose, may lose a prisoner and may create a souvenir. Okay, 50-50. Okay. Let the Clay Air have a Blemigan, but it's the docile Blemigan that I still have no idea where to get. She's expressed interest in discovering how it works. Why does it propagate? Where is its obsession located? Matter of luck, 30% chance, and I guess again if if it succeeds we get another souvenir. Um, give her your white molly flower, whatever that is. Available for one Cintillac at the Fathom King's Hold. Counteracts illusion at Dahut, Dahat. Um, yeah, that doesn't really tell me anything, anything useful. When you bought it, they told you it would make and it, it would take away illusions. But how does it work? How indeed? Well, okay. Yeah, this is she's just a very interesting character who uh, inadvertently spoils a bunch of advanced, I don't know, features, events of the game. Um, right. This one we could actually try. I, th I want to say this was grayed out last time, but maybe not. Also, I mean, obviously, the idea is that you, in a game where you don't just uh, save scum all the time, 
you want to amass five player souvenirs, so you have a 100% chance of succeeding. Um, but of course, opportunities to acquire those are few and far between. As it is, we could just we can just save the game, and or rather, I mean, I could try right now and keep trying until I get it. Of course, you know, if you if you're interested in keeping her as your as your surgeon, then you don't you wouldn't want to risk this, right? Wouldn't want to risk permanently losing her. Anyway, so just some interesting observations here. I find them interesting anyway. Um, also, wasn't there something about the actual... Ah, oh, yes, right. I... That's right, I saw this as well and then and, and kind of face pound because, well, of course, I completely forgot, obviously, and I also somehow didn't double check, uh, that we do need another strange catch and I only have one left because I stupidly used up one of the two I had. I think I had two, or at least two, and used up all but one for non-essential things. And now, unfortunately, I was reminded that we actually need two. I don't know how I didn't see this when I went over my various officers last time, or one of these last times. Maybe I didn't double-check him because I thought I remembered exactly what what I needed to do for him, but I obviously forgot about this. And I'm pretty sure if I try this now, yeah, he'll just say he'll just say no. But eventually, this will work, right? Because, um, well, anyway, I mean, right now we don't have the salt. However, we are also going to the salt lions, right? Which, uh, yeah, pretty much in a exact uh, in a straight line from here. I just have to steer ever so slightly south. Um, and we're going to the salt lions, and I. I mean, there's a decent chance, a non-zero chance, I want to say, that we can actually buy salt there. So, um, with any luck, we might be able to do that. And I guess in that case, I will probably just get the, uh, you know, the Poissonnier's quest out of the way, just because we've had him with us for a while, and we just haven't been able to even start his quest line. No idea what that might even be about. So, just to get that started, I would use my my one strange catch that, that I have left for him. Anyway, that's, you know. We'll see how things go. Um, what else? Right. Um, since we're going to be retreading familiar terrain for at least the first leg of this journey, I might go ahead and, well, yeah, we're at the salt lines now, so. It wasn't really necessary in this case, but maybe for the trip up the coast, I'm gonna do a, you know, a couple of cuts so I'm not just, I don't don't just feel compelled to babble, uh, you know, pointlessly just to fill the silence, while nothing really happens on these trips. All right, salt lions, salt lions. Um, yes. Obviously, been here before. Visit the Unmakers. Muscular pack wielders rest on camp stools, watching you approach, passing hip flasks around. An anxious overseer beckons you to sit. Hmm. I want to say that this option was here last time. Maybe. This does seem vaguely familiar, so. Huh. We'll see, I guess. Carry Sphinx Stone to London. Uh, the Unmakers are here to reduce the salt lines to rubble, one block at a time. Help them in their work by carrying the rubble back to London. We'll need a deposit, 200 echoes, and 20 units of cargo space. Well, um, of course, right now our cargo hold is completely full, but 20 is not completely impossible. In fact, if I had remembered that this was an option, I could have um, come here before coming to London. Right? Was there anything? Would, have, would there have been any reason not to do this? Not really. I could have stopped by, and I would have had 20 units of cargo space and 200 echoes, and I could have, and I would have explored this option. Maybe as it is, um, I mean, obviously, I'm not going to just free up 20, 20 units of cargo space right now. Um, that would be silly. But maybe on the way back, before I return to London from this trip that we just started, I might explore this option if I remember. So something to keep in mind, perhaps. Saying that as if. I'm actually keeping these things in mind, but, you know. Uh, right. Shall fly and scroll. You've brought the Nacreous Outcast here. With luck, it knows why. Well, I mean, that's why I came here in the first place, so... Let's get that out of the way. Unexpected Grace. 
The face of the Northern Sphinx is all but gone, but the Nacreous Outcast scrambles doggedly up. It pauses at the top and then flips into the air, an arc as precise as a compass line, down into the darkness of the Z. Couldn't you just jumped in from the dock? I guess not. It's gone with barely a splash. You wait. There's no reason for alarm. It can probably breathe water. You wait longer. There is a certain degree of decorous alarm. Longer still, and the alarm manifests in the form of Zaylars clustering casually by the rail. Only casually, because no one would admit any concern for the fate of a robbery man. Uh, the robbery man surfaces. It mounts the steps to the quay with the ceremonious delight of a vicar mounting the steps to a pulpit. It holds a sphinx stone chess piece aloft in its hand. Principles, it wheezes. Okay. You no longer have the gods of the seas salt's attention. Huh? That's interesting. But we also have a minor piece, I guess. Hmm. A sphinx stone chess piece. Okay. Do we? Um, I guess it's not a physical item. Or it's not so much in our possession as in the uh, in the possession of the robbery man. Principles end. Returning with Sphinx Stone. Okay. Uh, yeah, well... Can I remember where that actually was? Somewhere over here. Principles end. Uh, it would have been... It's not... Is it Port Cecil? I thought it was called something like Principles end on the map, but I guess not. It has to be down here, right? It's not... It's definitely not Mangrove College, and it's d certainly not Demo Island. And here I've only been more recently. Um, up here I've also been more recently, so... Yeah, no, Estival, Nuncio, Godfall, Empire of Hands, of course. Certainly not up there. I guess it was Port Cecil, actually. Okay, well, that's a bit out of the way. Honestly, it's not that far away, if I really wanted to. Um, but no, I'm gonna continue on with my current quest, or, you know, currently planned route. Actually, though... I mean, I was planning to go up to Venderbite, Wither, and then over, as I've said multiple times. But, technically speaking, I could also just head east from here and then start exploring like like this and, and actually go the other way around, visit Chapel of Lights, and then return to Wither that way. <laughs> or I could continue with my original plan. It's not really going that far out of the way. I mean, what I could do is, instead of just heading to, to Venderbite like that, I could just explore this little part of the map. Just basically make a bit of a U-shape and go up that way. How's that sound? Sounds kind of okay to me, honestly. Let's let's go with that. Why don't we? Uh, hold on. Uh, dock, dock again, please. Actually save. Wait, also... Oh, right. Completely forgot to pick up the port report. And I suppose I'm going to save now. Manual save. Uh, it's 41. Um, right. Keep forgetting that enter doesn't do anything. Visit the Unmakers. Muscular pick wheelers. Right. Fungal tisan and tea cakes. I've definitely seen this before. That's all for now. Gain one fragment. Yay? Huh. Yeah, we've definitely seen this before. Okay, well, thanks, I suppose. Maybe there's a chance to press the wrong button. Maybe there's a chance to get something more out of it. So, well, I suppose I'm not going to make any cuts now because we're actually heading into unknown territory. We'll just see how this goes. Hopefully we'll not run into anything dangerous that's either going to damage us or outright kill us or almost as bad uh, force us to change our course to you know, waste time and fuel by dodging. Looks pretty harmless so far. Okay. 
I think I can safely go up this way. See if this island is anything. Um, surely you're not gonna see me, right? Oh, this is interesting looking. That's not a place we can interact with. Hmm. Send out the Z-Bat, maybe just head up this way, turn the lights back on so we don't go crazy. Labyrinth of Eels! Huh. That sounds intriguing, but I guess it's just a name on the map. Unless there's something over this way. I mean, I don't see anything, so... Don't! Ah, crap. Turn on the light. Prematurely. Surely there's nothing down there. I mean, I'm, the map doesn't really represent it, but I mean, we've basically been here. And, yeah. Saints Haven. Dubious Maelstrom. Hmm. Likimaki Crag. We've seen Likimaki Crag from, from the eastern side when we were near Count's Glory. The du oh, not Dubious. Dubois Maelstrom. I want to say we saw that as well. I mean, obviously, we must have if it's put, been put on the map. But yeah. Don't remember Saints Haven, what was going on there, but yeah. And I wish I the game was a little bit more generous with actually uncovering these squares on the map. But oh well. Please, please just stop chasing me. I think we might be good. We seem to be just ever so slightly faster. Yeah, I think so. All clear. Nothing. I mean, there should be something around here. Just, you know. Oh. Okay. No, it's not following me anymore. Yeah, this is definitely a very um, inefficient course I'm, I'm sailing here, but, you know. It's fine. Probably. Well, and now we're so close to Gators Morn that we're probably not gonna find anything anywhere else and dock around here. But of course, this trip was still valuable, even if it turns out that we don't find any places. Because then, now we know, right? I'm reasonably sure that there's just open water here. Nothing there. So I'll just make a little bit of a curve around and then head over to Vanderbite. Yeah. Guess that's the plan. Keep sending out that bat. Oh, that looks maybe promising? Hmm, maybe not. There's a lot of there are a lot of islands here. Sounds kind of ominous, but uh, I guess not really. Just nothing, huh? Hold on. Just, let me just go east far enough to uncover a, a bit more of the map. Okay, there's something. Yeah, there's just a ship. Okay. I'll just... I'll say it's enough. Yeah, I saw the lily pads over there. Maybe this is a place I can use... My recent news? We've used up quite a bit of fuel already, but, you know, that's fine. There's uh, one of those jellyfish things. Jellyfish. A lightship, far from home. I uh, did not mean to click on that. Perhaps not, thank you very much. Purchase fuel for 20. Yeah. No, we're, we're still good, I think. Uh, speak to the crew. Well, we have the recent news. The beneath... The tea beneath the light. Lost five terror? Okay. That's actually not terrible. And we got a Z-story, which are surprisingly hard to come by. Of course, so is recent news, but there aren't really that many places to use recent news either. So, we'll see if this was a good trade-off. 
I was kind of hoping this would be different from the other uh, light ship, which is very near London, but this seems exactly the same. I guess this is a chance to, to actually save. I mean, do I want to save as, I suppose, I want the map to be, you know, mostly uncovered. Uh, so we actually save. Yes. And yeah, basically just head straight west from here. So yeah, that was this was oddly uneventful, surprisingly so. I mean, I, I would have absolutely, I would have taken any any kind of bet to that that would that we'd find at least a place to dock. Can you can you leave me alone? I don't know if I've actually killed one of these on this captain's life, but I mean, fifty health is it's not nothing. We're almost certainly going to take some damage. I mean, is there a chance that... Oh god. Stop it? Wow. You actually stopped. Are you... That was... Miraculous, to be honest. Except now it's going to charge again. It's scary that it can't even do that, but... Huh. Anyway. Now let's just... Pretend like it isn't there. Okay. Definitely good now. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, maybe if we had defeated it, we could have acquired a strange catch, even. That would have been convenient, of course, but stop it. Whatever pulled us into combat there, I don't know. Well, anyway. I'm trying to remember what the possible outcomes were from defeating one of those things. I mean, I've done that at some point. Maybe on a different captain. But, um... I want to say the outcome wasn't even that great. It, it gave us some very dubious food, like a unit of supplies. Or alternatively, a minor amount of fragments or something. Get out of here, pirates. Leave me alone. Don't you dare shoot me. thought better of it. Good for them, because I would have absolutely maybe damaged them slightly before getting killed. <clears throat> okay. What is down here? That looks meaningful, but I guess there's just nothing there. Obviously it would be on the map. Otherwise. I mean, might as well send a Z-Bat, even though almost at Vanderbite here, so... Okay, so almost 10 units of fuel for this, but I suppose I did map a non-insignificant part of the map. Actually, hold on. Wait. Is that an underwater port? Because I certainly didn't see anything. I mean, there seems to be some land there, but... I didn't see that, or nor did the the bat report anything. Was I distracted by something? I mean, the plan is to to come to sail by here, basically, on the way back. So it's not a huge deal. We can't just we can double check. But um, I'm I'm actually just going to look at that part of the video of this video to confirm that there really wasn't anything visible there anything I could have actually docked with. Because, uh, well... Would be silly if... Uh, would be silly otherwise. After complaining or, you know, going on and on about the lack of any interesting places. Anyway, uh, I mean, still stands that, you know, mo most of that area just ended up being completely empty. And that's certainly not what I uh, expected. The Tomb Colonists of Vanderbite have few pleasures remaining. Provide what you have promised. What did I promise? Oh, wait. The Shady Sword. What? Do we currently... Yes, we still have her on board, but I honestly completely forgot what she wanted us to do. Get her to Venerbite, I guess. Which I might or might not have remembered 
at some point. Um, learning about Isle Favors. Uh, Romans, Visage, Misk. Nope. Objectives? Bring a shady sword to Vanderbite from the Mangrove College. Ah. Okay. Yep. It's not the icon I was looking for, but... Apparently that's one of the reasons I'm here. Hey, good to know. Uh, shops? Old temple? Oh, interesting. I could sell... Memories of Distant Shores for 12. Hmm. That uh, doesn't seem very worth it. Unfortunately, no muter salt here. I don't know why I thought they would be selling salt, just because they're, this is where we picked up the cook, where the um, that restaurant is. I don't know, somehow that's why I was thinking of foodstuffs in general. Could stock up on fuel just a little bit. Because, yeah, I think 11 is... Looking a little bit low. Of course, this is twice as expensive as in London. Are we going to find any less expensive places, though? I mean, I'll buy just, you know, that many. Try not to think too much about the cost. So, what can we actually do? Uh, the Tomb Colony. The Vengeance of Jonah. Can we do anything useful here? Sample today special for 60. I mean, our terror is looking non-threatening right now. Offer a strange catch. Oh, interesting. You know, I'd be willing to actually buy one off you. <laughs> I guess that's not an option, though. It's usually a more effective way of reducing terror than purchasing a, purchasing a dusty glass of wine. We'll also reduce hunger, which right now we have zero hunger, so that's not a, an additional bonus. <laughs> yeah, no. Thanks, but no thanks. Um... What can we do here? Assist a specialized collector. Don't have the submarine for that. Dusty glass of wine. Don't have enough terror for that. Explore Vanderbite. Visit the first curator. Right. That's one of the things we wanted to do. Well, this is the port report, right? Yes. Continue. I should, even though I've been here before and this doesn't seem like a place where terrible things are going to happen to me. But I should never feel so sure about that kind of thing. So, there. Um, explore Vanderbite, just see. Uh, here they favor candlelight over gaslight. Yes. A raggedy fellow. My lady, I'm a good seaman. I'm yours if you'll have me. Will you have me? I'm hungry. I'll work hard. He seems likely enough, uh, if a little ragged and sorrowful. Take him with you, except, uh, unfortunately, we are full on crew. Leave him here, no room. You have a full complement, no space. Pay his passage home. An act of generosity for 250 echoes? Excuse me? No. I just can't afford doing that. No. Sorry, man. Lost one terror. A shrug. I... I note, I note before I ask. But I hoped yet. Well then, Captain. Take my blessing. <laughs> You'll remember me another time, eh? When you have a Birth, birth, birth spare for a good sailor that knows his way. He's laying it on a bit thick with all disease, but perhaps next time you assure him, perhaps. Uh, perhaps next time. Yeah, okay, well, that's unfortunate that we didn't just happen to have some crew spaces to fill up. Anyway, visit the first curator and see if we can actually do something with just one of the colors. No more light. The obsequious steward cautions you. The curator is terribly afraid of moths. <laughs> Understandable, I suppose. He opens the door and you step into near darkness. A pair of luminous lamplighter bees buzz in a latticed ivory tube. There is no other source of light. The banished shape, a banished shape no larger than a child, lies crumpled on a couch. It lifts its head with obvious effort. It takes several seconds for you to distinguish its voice from the soft buzz of the bees. Give it your hunter's eye. Oh, wait. Oh. Pelion, I did it mention anywhere on this item that it was a particular color, let alone this one? I'm pretty sure it didn't, or else I would have made the connection at the time we picked it up. Up in uh, what's that? Um, what's it called? The, the the weird portal place in the in the far north. That's where we 
melted this out of a, a block of ice, I think. Something like that. For no particular reason. I, I'm pretty sure it didn't mention... You know, anything color-related, or else I would have thought of this, but... Okay. I suppose we can do this, then. Assuming this is... Well, there might be more, more than one thing to do with each of these weird items. But this is one thing we can do with it, and, you know, one thing I... I can't do right now, so let's just do it. The driest of chuckles. My left eye is blind. Should I replace it with this one? It will be no blinder. But perhaps I will see within. It raises the hand with the hunter's eye towards its concealed face. No sound is indes no sound is indescribable, but some should be. This is one. Let us not trouble ourselves with its nuances. It's reminders of marsh and gangrene and chrysalid emergence. Take, it says, its voice ragged. It gestures at a far at a side table where a spoyer tusk? Spoir tusk? I don't know. A pearl tiara is uh, perched jauntily atop the tusk. Both, apparently, are yours. Okay. I have a captivating treasure and a hunting trophy. Hunting trophy. Your prey is vanquished, but this remains. I mean, it's not my prey, but I'll take it. And captivating treasure... If you've made an ironclad will, you can convert these to heirlooms, right? Okay, to basically pass on money to my successor, I think. Um, we had acquired one of these before, I think, as the final treasure uh, from the whole um, mask place. Masquerade, but what was that called again? I don't know. Anyway, that place. And um, then we did something with it. We either sold it for a ton of money or something along those lines. So, okay, nice. I was really not expecting, uh, not not uh, sure what kind of reward to expect from these these quests here, this series of quests, I suppose. But uh, I guess we're actually being rewarded with, um, well, money. Uh, give it your mirror catch box full of very angry dream snakes. Oh my my my, they are cross. No, this is a thing I'm more than glad to be rid of. I think the same probably goes for that weird eyeball that we just randomly picked up. They won't stay imprisoned long, but longer than I will. It becomes motionless for so long that you wonder if it is finally truly dead. At last it expels a rattling breath and points wordlessly at a cloisonne mask on a trophy stand. What are all these words? Half visible in the gloom. Elder continent and wheezes, made within sight of the mountain. Wear it and think of me. Um, okay, another captivating treasure. Nice. Well, two down, four, five more to go. Uh, Violet, I'm, I've not even come across anything of that color or description. Irigo, don't think so either. Gant, well, we have seen the objects described as Gant, but nothing we could have picked up. Cosmogo, nope, nothing for sure. And Applecyan, I want to say that that has actually come up in when um, when in the chess place, uh, Port Cecil, I suppose. So I guess we'll find ourselves back there, and maybe along the line, uh, along the you know, when following the quest line of the Necrius uh, outcast, the octopus guy, uh, we will maybe acquire something to fulfill this requirement. Anyway, um, captivating treasures, good. We can probably just outright sell those somewhere, maybe even in London itself. Possibly. Um, but they can also almost certainly be used as pretty valuable bargaining ship, uh, ships, chips somewhere. So yeah, good stuff. Uh, shop? No, I did check this before. Derp. Um, okay, cool. Now we know how that works. You just deliver the things and get rewarded. I like that. Pretty straightforward. If I'll ever be able to fulfill all of them and see the culmination of that quest, who knows, but um, for now, that's just a useful thing to do. And we'll save that before checking this out. So apparently this is something we came here to do. Um, the Tomb Columns of Vendorbite have few pleasures remaining. Their new home is an echoing palace of rare dust. Perhaps you can help a little. Reassure the Shady Sword. The Shady Sword turns to you. I didn't ask. How, how, much, how much has he changed? Is it very bad beneath the bandages? Perhaps you can reassure her. Um, I don't even know why they are here. 
Tell her the Shady Sword of the Truth. Tell her that no one enters Vanderbite as a colonist unless they pass the skin check. Tell her that he is much changed, and for the worse. I don't know. I'm gonna go with Brutal Truth here. Just because. Silence. She says nothing. Her face grows paler and paler as you speak. No, she looks like nothing so much as a wax figure. She walks jerkily down the gangplank to meet her friend. He pays you. She says nothing. I mean, she would have learned the hard way anyway, right? You brought an absent friend to Vanderbite and were truthful. What? <laughs> Just what precisely is whose problem? Game, you're not making much sense. But that's nothing new. Okay, 400 echoes for this. Uh, that's cool. Anything else we can do here? The last tour operator. Wait, what's this all about? Ho, oh, Captain! I have one dozen sad and bandaged souls here. They're choosing their final fate. Will you take them on one last diversionary tour? It may be a longish trip. Make sure you have enough supplies. Replace 12 supplies with 12 tomb colonists. Oh, we can't do that because we don't have the supplies for it. Interesting. I guess this is the... I don't know if this option was here before. Possibly not because this is the same icon. And it's, this might just be the follow-up to what we just finished. I suppose this is another tooltip that just spoils a bunch of different quests, just like um, the Clary Air. So may maybe that's not such a unique thing. It's still kind of weird. I mean... Uh, anyway, you'll need to take three destinations in the Uh Who will you need to take to three destinations in the Undersea? Uh, view your objective. Tomb Colonist quality to learn the destinations, the destination for each visit. Replace 12 supplies specifically with 12 co Tomb Colonists, though. That's kind of rough. I could buy supplies here, but they are expensive, so I don't know that I want to do that right now. I mean, obviously, I'd ha I would have to basically fill up entirely with uh, with supplies, and that's going to cost me quite dearly. So, yeah, if anything, I I want to make I want to do that in London and just make sure I come up here next time with. Uh, all the supplies I, I'd want for some sort of longer trip, plus 12. Um, because obviously I'm technically interested in doing it, but I guess not right now. Yeah. Okay, well, we uh, did deliver a quest, though. Got paid pretty handsomely for it, and we can do more here. More things to do in Vanderbite. Just taking mental note. Um, wow, also... No, you know what? I was gonna say this has this this session has been surprisingly long. I suppose just looking at the timer, um, and I was already, almost tempted to just end it here, except that it would make perfect sense to me to continue up to Wither, which is not far away at all, uh, where we can do at least one more potentially pretty interesting thing. I mean, it should be very interesting if we actually do end up finding maybe his mother. Bad swarm. Get out of here. Those things are the worst. I hate them so much. Just leave me alone. I said leave me alone. What did I ever do to you? Stop it? Stop it! Five damage just like that. No, you know what? That is BS. And even if I chose to fight them, they would still damage me. It's just... And I would get extremely little out of it. I don't know if they're still going to be around. I'm going to try to just avoid them in the first place if I can. They might not even be still there after I reload. In fact, they probably aren't. Anyway. Wither. Okay. Yep. Wither is up there. It's actually... Yeah. It's not that far away. I have to go around... <coughs> Excuse me. I have to go around like this a little bit. Um... Yeah, anyway, we should be able to pick up maybe his mother. Or, well, find her, I guess. Depending on what the odds actually are. God, there's the stupid iceberg, lifeberg. Get out of here. At least it doesn't seem overly aggressive. Uh, I say just as it turns toward me. Just leave me alone. I'm not even here. Probably far enough away to be safe. Maybe? Oh, God. Yeah, okay, so I'm actually just a little bit faster, just fast enough to... 
I'll, sp I'll swim it. Right. And then from here, of course, we can start our eastward exploration. So that's uh, this was this makes a perfect stopping point for this episode. All right, the house of the question, northwest of the town, the house of the question stands alone. Is that? I don't remember that name, but that's that uh, chapel to the three Z gods, right? Where we chose to defy them last time. Maybe a bit prematurely, but well, who knows? Anyway, let's save here. See no problem with that. Can we do anything? Uh, gain stone's attention. Gain Salt's attention. Well, I uh, can't do that anyway because I defied them. Ask about the Drowned Man. Uh, who? Why would I do this? Was this not an option last time? Did I not do this before? Maybe I just didn't do it because I didn't have a hundred echoes to spare. I mean, I kind of do now depending on how useful this ends up being. The Law and the Loss. The Drowned Man's brothers, I, I and sisters, gave him to the Knives and the Lacquer. Lacquer? Here we have no lacquer, only snow. Snow comes from the north. Lacquer comes from pain. We have it a little easier. Wow, thanks. Two fragments for that? The hell? Is that supposed to be useful? Is this random, what you get, or...? What am I missing here? Maybe it's just a thing you can do that's just not very worthwhile. Okay, I mean, I got slightly better, you know, fragments per echoes spent this time around, but... Uh, yeah. I wouldn't really want to pay any kind of echoes for fragments. So let's just not do that, I suppose. Anyway, wither. Explore town, gather intelligence, shore leave and wither, help maybe start our search for a mother. 32% chance. Okay. So if I wanted to keep going on to the next destination, I suppose one of them was the Calonate, wasn't it? I want to say. Um, which is a place we haven't been. So technically... I mean, I'm, I'm planning to go there eventually, right? And we're going to get something for failing this one. We have been getting rewards for failing. So I guess... Well, you know what? I'm just going to do it, obviously. Nothing. And we'll see what we get. Um, I've been asking questions for three hours, and every time I ask a question, they reply with a question, and I think I might... <sighs> well, I might, but I didn't. I just picked their pockets. I think that's entirely reasonable under the, under the circumstances, don't you? Here's your share. Let's go and look elsewhere. Somewhere else. Right. So, uh, Calonade, yes. Right, so just to make sure, Wither... I mean, okay, just logically, the next destination should have a 64... Yes, this was 32, so 64% chance of success. And then the one after that, the last one remaining, would double that to, well, effectively... 100%. So, um, yeah, it makes sense. There wouldn't be other, any more stations, any more possible places. But we have checked Wither, obviously. Isle of Cats, Irem. Wait. No, we haven't checked Irem. Or the Calonate. Or Naples. Or have we actually checked? No, we did check Irem. In fact, that's the first place we checked. Yeah, yeah, okay. Never mind. Pretty sure. Has to be. Anyway... Um, I mean, we are guaranteed to reach the Calonate eventually, and I guess I can wait until then and take... <gasps> I got Mutasold! Wow, I, di I didn't even look at the rewards this time, which I usually just skip ahead and, and look at those things first, um, rather than reading everything else first, but not in this case. Anyway, we got a minor amount of Echoes, which is always nice, I suppose, but the Mutasold... Um, Unless it's something we can we we can also just easily acquire here, uh, that's really useful because we can actually literally use it right now. So yeah, you know, I was planning to just reload until I get it, but then I would have missed out on this reward, and we're gonna get to the colonnade eventually. So yeah, that just makes sense to accept this outcome. 
Okay, you can actually buy Mutter Salt with, with Z stories. Well, that's interesting. Huh. Hunter's Cage. Stygian Ivory can only sell that here. Star Shell. Figurehead of the Eater of Names. Anatomical Cabinet. Huh. I could trade some of my Tales of Terror. It doesn't say how many I have, does it? No. Um, I could trade some of those for supplies. Is that worth it? Probably not. No, I'm not going to do that. But, um, oh, okay, what else can we do? Gather intelligence. Yeah, this is now up to 64. Uh, shore leave, gather intelligence, explore. So this should just give us the port report. Explore the town. The quiet, chilly town of Greystone and closed courtyards. Right, the, the people are just obnoxious have the obnoxious uh, habit of answering questions with more questions. Oh, what? An intriguing smell. Who will try? Who will buy? A street vendor turns skewers on a grill. The mixed scents are nothing like anything sold in London. Try the grilled troglodyte prawns, huge and pale, and their eyes stare bleakly into yours, but they smell fresh. Try the shredded jellyfish. Hmm. It's not to everyone's taste. Try something mysterious. What exactly is Tyrant's Treat? The vendor is vague. It looks something like a charred stick dripping with bluish fluid. Okay, something more robust. Uh, right. <laughs> a usefully anonymous skewer of meat. Well, thankfully, we're not a cannibal, currently. Hmm, I've definitely tried one or several of these options in the past. Don't remember trying the jellyfish. Um, the thing is... Uh oh, now I wonder... If I reload from here, I mean, I, okay, just because I want to know. No, actually, hold on, back. Uh, continue, don't exit. Jesus. Uh oh, mouse, please. This is not a time to get stuck. <clears throat> okay, uh, try, might as well try something mysterious. Although I might have tried this, I think I might have tried this and, and failed and, and just ended up vomiting. Let's give this another try. Okay, hold your noise. Uh, y your noise. Hold your nose. You follow the owner's advice, holding your nose as you swallow. But the smell, something like rotting fruit, still makes you gag. The stick is leathery. The blue stuff is rubbery as drying mucus. You fail to keep it down and disgrace your captaincy here on the street. Yes, that's exactly what happened. Gain five hunger. Gain five terror. Okay, so you know, obviously not particularly beneficial. Also not particularly terrible, but um, mostly boring because we had seen it before. But now I want to know. No, actually, I'm... No, that's fine. I didn't want to save there, because I wasn't sure if I would be able to uh, explore the town again, or if this was a one-time thing. I think after you, once you click on this, you can't back out of it without losing this, this option. That's what I was thinking. Right, we have to do this again, but that's not a problem. I mean, could just go for one of the easier challenges, but, I mean... Ah, succeeded. Gained two iron, two hearts, and two mirrors? I mean, yeah, it's cheating, but I'll take it. Rare and delicious. Tyrant moth antennae. Hmm. You know how to deal with these. You break into the, break it into fragments and swallow the dripping fragments each in a gulp, exhaling briskly to savor the vapors afterwards. It's a complex rather than a pleasant flavor, but its tonic effects are marvelous, apparently. That's, that's insane. I mean, there was, what, a 37% chance? That's not so unlikely to get, and you can attempt it whenever, every time you return to Wither, so yeah, that's it's not terrible, especially if it's just completely for free. Uh, gather Intelligence, there you go, Shore Leave, 99% chance of success, 50 Echoes. I guess this is gonna reduce some terror, which I suppose we could do, 50 Echoes though. Well, first we save this, obviously. That was quite, quite nice. Uh, we're gonna get this out of the way, nothing, yep. We get the Echoes and the Muter Salt, just making sure we get the same stuff. Uh, we'll save that as well. Because we're not being silly. 
and just check this out, I guess. Succeeded. You lost five terror. Hmm. Your crew follow, for your, follow your example faithfully. One drinks a little too much pale withern beer and has to be fished from the harbor, but they spend a relatively decorous night gambling for salt and bone and return refreshed. Hmm. I, I guess it's nice to start on a long-ish trip with basically no terror, but then... But then, you know... Five, reducing five for 50. It's not bad, but I don't know if I needed to do this, strictly speaking. You know what? I'm gonna try to. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna end the episode anyway, so next time I'm just gonna reload and, and keep going from there. I think, you know, terror wise, I don't need to worry right now, so I'm, I'd rather hold on to my money and try to actually amass a little bit of wealth because. I guess the, the idea is still to eventually upgrade to a, a better, bigger ship, if for no other reason than to maybe have one with more cargo space to be physically able to do some of the things that require just picking up more items than I can physically hold right now. Um, although, you know, I had this idea of actually just upgrading to the more combat-capable ship, whatever it was called, but uh, I think since I'm still not planning to do a lot of fighting, what really would make sense would be to upgrade to anything with more cargo space, just so, you know, to give myself more options. But, uh, yeah, either way, I need much more money than I have currently to do anything in that regard. So, um, yeah, being stingy, I think, is going to be useful in the long run. So, next time we actually have uh, the all the ingredients needed to have dinner with our cook. Uh, so we'll start next episode with that, I suppose, to finally start his questline and see what he's all about. And uh, yeah, then we'll continue with our planned trip eastward. And we'll see how far we get with that one. For the time, by uh, the time buying, the time being, I thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please smash that like button and that comment button. And I'll see you next time. Uh, pretty soon but why do I why do I try mixing things up and always get mixed up in the process bye bye